Welcome to a section of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Gold, Chancellor of the University of Nebraska Medical Center, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm joined today by Krupa Savalia, one of our MD-PhD students, the head of our student government, and a member of our Board of Regents. Welcome, Krupa. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk, to about, talk with you about the Student Life Center. I know at the recent uh, a Board of Regents meeting last week that the final action of the Board of Regents occurred that will allow us to actually start to break ground for the expansion of the Student Life Center. And I know that you and your colleagues have been very involved in that. And so maybe you take a few minutes to tell us a little bit about how this occurred, uh, how the student effort uh, was put together, and, uh, and where we are now. Sure. So the Student Life Center has kind of been a focal point for um, a project with the Student Senate. Um, for about, I think, a year and a half now. And it was started by um, a student, um, a College of Medicine student, Eric Nagengast. And he really kind of wanted to take the project on and saw a need to kind of renovate the center and make it into something a little bit more than what it is right now. And um, as a student senate, we really felt that the life, the Student Life Center had the capability of kind of becoming more of a central meeting point for our students. Um, and kind of being a symbol of wellness on our campus um, for bringing students together, giving them the opportunity to engage with each other, and kind of giving them an outlet from the classroom. So we could not be more thrilled uh, with the fact that the Board of Regents voted unanimously in support of starting construction um, and that this was really a true partnership between the students and our administration in kind of looking at it, fig figuring out how we wanted to renovate it, seeing what the needs of the students were in developing a plan to move forward. And so are the students excited about this uh, expansion and, the, and what the new center is going to look oh, like? Absolutely. I mean, the sketches look beautiful. We couldn't be more thrilled. Um, we're going to get new equipment. The space is going to be opened up. And it's really, it's, at, it's kind of at the corner of the quad, um, which I think really gives it a great location on campus for our students. So we couldn't be more thrilled. You know, I've looked at some of those artist renditions and floor plans as well, and the way the exercise rooms are set up is they're all laid out across this beautiful glass uh, uh, frontage of the building yeah. looking out onto the quad, so it should be really, really pretty. Yeah, it's a great scene for um, running on the treadmill. I mean, the treadmills will be on the, the second floor, and yes. um, the quad's really a beautiful area to look out over, so we, we're really excited. So I understand that the center is also used by faculty and staff, is that right? It is, yeah. And you know, we have a lot of students that graduate from the Med Center, um, from all the different colleges that stay here. And um, they use the Life Center as a student and they continue to use it as a residence. Um, and there are quite a few staff members and administrative um, individuals who use it as well. So it's not just for students, but it really um, encompasses many different individuals on our campus and is a focal point for bringing them together. So I think that's another important point, and that mm -hmm. it's not just about health and wellness on campus and a positive statement about how we feel about physical health and conditioning, mm -hmm. but it's also a place where our faculty and our staff and our students get together. Yeah. And it's going to be a great place to host events as well when, the, when all the renovation and the expansion is finished. Yeah, we really look forward to it. Well, Krupa, thank you so much for joining us on Under the Microscope today. And uh, congratulations on a very, very successful campaign to get this done. Uh, the donors that have supported this have been absolutely wonderful, and absolutely. they really bought into the vision mm -hmm. that the students brought forward. And we couldn't be more grateful for the generous donation and also the administrative support in really making this happen and making this work for us. It's teamwork. Teamwork. Thank you. <laughs>